I reckon I'll look back at this and almost consider it my period of silence. I didn't really have a lot of communication with the outer world as such. I've just been like very internal. I've just been processing who I am, how I am, what I am, where I've been, where I'd like to go, what I want to feel again, what I don't want to feel again, who I want to see again, who I don't want to fucking see again, right? I've just done this mass cull of my life. There's no distraction in nature, no other person in there in my sense, like I'll go for a solo surf or I'll go for a solo walk or whatever was what was really good about this whole period of self-reflection is no one could distract me. I've been so self-focused that I reckon I've finally cracked into who I'm becoming and what I want to become, the type of musician that I would like to become. Take, take it away. Of the willow tree, I heard your future rustles in the breeze, and carries rumors like the birds and the bees. And does it really put your mind at ease to sit back at the fact that you're standing here at where you've always dreamed? Cause I had this vision before when everybody comes and I came to my door. Took a moment together, the senses clean the bullshit smear. Across the lenses, blinded by the big, big lights, and I talk so cheap. One time you're lucky on the top, but the fall is steep. I put the pyramid one by one. Will you flew first glass into the sun?
all these songs that I write. They're about timestamps and points in my life of what has happened to me or what I've done to others. And I don't particularly really give away the actual genuine meanings of my songs. I only say a little bit because I like to keep that to myself. Will I Tree is another one of those songs. I based it off like pyramid, get rich, quick schemes. Cause like everyone wants to just like get to the top without the foundation and, and all the building blocks in the middle. Get rich fast or, you know, do this without trying or, you know, all, all of that type of thing that society tries to sell you. I think the whole tone of the record is more about the negative things that I have observed in myself and society and how we project that onto ourselves and others. So Willow Tree is about getting to the top of that pyramid and realising that there's nothing up the fucking top. It was about the whole journey. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mystic was a song that I wrote and I didn't even think anything of it. I didn't even play the song live for years, ever. And now I don't take it out of the set because I just have so much fun playing it and I just try and, you know, do, do something a little bit different every single time. I, I never do it the same. But I've also got like a, a structure and kind of like a checklist in my mind where I'll go, all right, guitar, do the things on the guitar. All right, cool. I'm like, jump over to the beats, do something on the beats. I might jump over to the keys, do something on the keys or on the kit. But it's just turned into this just, this just fucking jam. And I just can't not play it. There was a period of time where I always loved playing the guitar, but I was definitely loving playing other things more than that. And now I've come back around to like the guitar being the home base. I went into my childhood music store and I remember going in there when I was like seven years old and thinking, oh, it would be really nice to just like have a guitar, just like own an electric guitar. And I bought one and it was red. And then all these years later, pretty much almost, almost 20 years later, I walk in that store and they were like, we're, uh, we're getting some of your guitars in. And I just thought, what a, what a fucking whirlwind moment.
launch grid for me, son.
That was the one. And we live in this world where people just like over consume. And then they consume, 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 consume. And then that's still not enough. They still feel empty, they, they don't feel validated. And for me as an artist, it's just like, when do you get to the point where you go, that, that's enough for me, I've succeeded. I got so deep in all of this and it's just like a totally normal part of growing up. Like this is everyone's growing up story. There's nothing, there's nothing different about mine. This is just my growing up story where I've just like looked at myself and looked at my life and decided that I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be that person anymore. And now I'm just on this quest to just do everything as authentic as I can because then it's real, you know. It's just growing up.